What is up guys? This is Jeremy from Mr. X Dog360. And today I have just well yesterday I read my phone and today I downloaded and installed and flashed the MyUI ROM. So it's the uh builds for the Epic 4G Touch on Sprint, the Galaxy S2. And I think it's great. Only thing that doesn't work is the um video camera and that is high quality for video camera so if you would like to do video camera on this ROM you will have to do low quality or else it will not work so just keep that in mind what I have here is widget locker it is an ICS lock screen and I just like it personally better because I can just put a widget up there and it's really easy and I have a nice transition out <clears throat> uh, I have a MyUI clock right there and I am using the black ice theme and since I'm using the black ice theme the stock uh, lock screen that came with it was like in Chinese so no offense to you Chinese people out there but I just didn't really want that Chinese characters on there for me so yeah what I'm first gonna hop into is settings and I'm just gonna show you what the settings look like it's very iOS like and I think it's a great combination with iOS features and Android software so I think it's really great now my tripod I don't have my tripod so this might be a little shaky for you guys but sorry but uh, yeah it's running Android 2.3.7 and it is my UI build number 1.12.30 kernel version 2.6.3.5.7 so yeah and yeah there's really not much more I can go into depth on I just wanted to show you guys that there is my UI working for the epic 4G touch and it is a daily driver that you can use but yeah basically what I'm just gonna do now is show you the camera just give you a little glimpse at what it looks like there you go it sort of looks like Apple you got that there switch front facing camera and your flash settings and oh, a little laggy there that usually doesn't happen but uh, yeah what you can also do is go to launcher and you can change all of these transitions effects when you're like going through and I have all the high res graphics now battery life lots of bit lots of people have been saying that battery life is horrible on this but I think it is spectacular most my UI builds have horrible battery life but this has like spectacular battery life I have no there's really no like thing I can explain or relate it to it's just so good and I don't know why it has such good battery life it's sort of freaking me out cuz usually it doesn't happen but yeah for instance today like yesterday I rooted my phone and it was down at 50 percent and then I installed blazer ROM which is an ice cream sandwich ROM that's good and then I found an APK for this. It was hard to find though since Mega Upload got shut down. So I found that. And then I flashed this and I still had 30% left. And I went to dinner and then I had still still had 20% left when I was using it pretty much the whole time I was eating. So yeah, that just shows you how good battery life is on this ROM and it's just spectacular. And you can also have folders. So sort of off topic, but yeah, I just saw that folder on my home screen. And you can I have a nice variety of widgets and there's my <laughs> there's my lizard and yeah this does look very nice with the Super AMOLED display if you're wondering and it's probably the fastest and most reliable ROM I've ever used and of course the notification bar with these toggles there and this also has thousands of themes you can choose from and I think most of the themes are not that good but it takes a long time to search for a good theme but you know if you like this what you're gonna wanna do is go to settings themes and personal and then go to online theme and then scroll down just a little bit and black ice is right there and then you just click on it and then you can download it and then you can apply it and then for widget locker what you're gonna wanna do is go into the market search widget locker and widget locker is right there it looks like that and that actually does cost money I believe I'm pretty sure 
Let's see how much that costs. Doesn't say, but uh, yeah, I think it's like one ninety nine or something like that. But uh, yeah, this is my UI on the Epic 4G Touch. And I was just showing you guys this little unprofessional video just to give you guys a glimpse on my UI for the Epic 4G Touch. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and feel free to check out my other sucky videos. Sorry, I'm not a very good reviewer. But uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching. Bye.